All right, you guys, so today I'm trying a brand new product, one that I've seen all over Instagram, and I'm like, okay, that's cute, but this is the first time I'm actually using it on my channel. So stay tuned for the video and find out how I use this hair paint wax. All right, before we get into the tutorial, you already know, <laughs> I got to introduce my monthly $100 giveaway. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, like this video, comment below, and leave your cash app. If you only leave your cash app, I don't write your name down, all right? So interact, leave a comment, and let's get into the video. All right! What is going on YouTube? It's your girl Easy Breezy and I'm back with another hair sponsor. Thank you so much Seely Hair for sponsoring this video with this 13 by 6 curly lace front wig. Now y'all know I love my 13 by 6s because baby you can do the part a lot longer and deeper. You can do a lot more different hairstyles with it and it just gives you more versatility. So this week, I'm going to be doing traditional voiceovers for all my new subscribers. All y'all OGs, y'all already know how to do a lace frontal with your eyes closed, <laughs> okay? But for my new subscribers, I'm going to be basically describing all of my steps, you know, in detail, step by step, so they can really understand what I got going on, the products I'm using, and why I'm doing what I'm doing. So first and foremost, I have this astringent and you can use Sea Breeze or any type of like off-brand astringent and use that to clean the application area. Now I used to use rubbing alcohol, but I had to stop using that altogether because it was drying out people's skin really, really bad and it was irritating people. So like people were ending up with like these rashes and these like red bumps on their forehead. And I thought it was the glue for months, but it was actually the alcohol because it's just too harsh on the skin so after I did that I took some hairspray and sprayed it on the hairline so I can kind of like you know push the baby hair back so they're out my way and I like putting a little bit of spritz on the skin as well because I think it makes the skin a lot more sticky and like dry so the glue kind of like I don't know I think it just makes the wig stick on a lot better all right, so I put a thin line of glue right in front of the hairline, let it dry, well not let it dry, let it turn clear. <laughs> then I put my stocking cap on and did a layer of spritz, which also I feel like helps the stocking cap stick on a lot better. Now I'm cutting the excess cap off. And when it comes to the back of the cap, I don't do nothing special. I definitely don't glue it. All I do is just cut the excess cap off and just leave it be. All right, so we're almost halfway through the install now. So right now I'm taking my liquid lace glue and I applied a thin line right in front of the stocking cap and I'm taking the back of my tweezers and spreading it out. So after that, I'm gonna let it turn clear and then I'm going to add a second coat and let it turn clear again and then stick the wig on. Now, one thing I do want to remind you guys is when you're working with liquid lace glue, it tends to dry really fast. So I strongly encourage you guys to start spreading the glue immediately right after you, you know, lay it down. Because sometimes, you know, if you wait too long, it'll start to get sticky. And when it starts to get sticky, it's hard to spread and then it dries white. And I don't want that happening to y'all. Now listen, this wig gonna get on its head, okay? <laughs> and I'm not gonna stop until it does. 
So when I have like wigs like this that are kind of small or the model's head is kind of big, I don't know, it could be both, <laughs> you know? After I actually stick the wig on, I take some thread and needle, I pull the wig up in three different places and I tack it down so it doesn't pull back. Because, you know, if you don't tack it down or if you don't, you know, give it that extra support and that extra reinforcement, the wig is gonna slowly slide back over time. All right, this hairline is looking good. I'm excited. Now, okay, when it comes to tinting the lace, I like using all types of tints as long as it works. So lately I've been using makeup. I haven't been using sprays. I don't know why though. I mean, it's no reason. I love the sprays, but for some reason, like, you know, the makeup is just quick. It's really convenient and it just works for everyone. <laughs> so that's what I've been using lately. All right, cool. So now we're ready to mold. Now I love this product, okay? And I'm a little salty because I tagged them. They don't pay me no mind. They damn sure don't sponsor me, but I just can't not say this name because this foam is everything. So this is the Tropical Roots Setting Foam from Bronner Bros. And y'all, I love this foam. Like when I was in hair school, I used to use Nairobi and that was good literally until I found out about this. It's sticky, it keeps the style like together. It's, I don't know, like this foam is so sticky that you can use it to do baby hair and the baby hairs actually stay for days. So it's like, it's really good. Now, if you put too much, <laughs> you know you know you don't mix it with water sometimes like when you come from under the dryer like you know your client comes from under the dryer their head can be like hard like a rock <laughs> but it's really no problem i just comb it out it doesn't flake up or nothing like that so it'd be good you know so i will recommend that when you're molding your client's hair with this then have a spray bottle and just like you know spray it down a little bit and then add the foam because it makes it a lot easier to kind of comb out when they get from under the dryer all right curly hair lesson water is not gonna do it alone <laughs> all right you need your products to accompany that water so you can keep the curls looking juicy and defined over time so i love my cantu leave-in conditioner it is amazing and i know that people were saying cantu wasn't good on natural hair but baby this ain't natural <laughs> okay so i use my cantu leave-in conditioner and i also use tropical roots right now i'm using a detangler and i just i go in on the products because the more products or like the certain type of products that you use the better the curls are gonna look and the longer they're gonna last hey it's baby hair time it's baby hair time all right so listen listen when you are plucking your wigs make sure you go back at least two inches because if you don't your baby hairs are gonna look thick <laughs> your hairline is gonna look thick so you have to pluck at least like an inch and a half two inches back like you have to see that scalp from a distance <laughs> okay so make sure you do that so now i'm cutting my baby hairs about like an inch long i used to cut them longer like back in the day but i realized when you cut them shorter they just look better i don't know they just look a little bit more natural I, I don't know but you know as i do hair and as i evolve over time my style and my technique changes so this is just where i'm at with it currently all right, so about these baby hairs, all right? Little more information. I'm using got to be glue on the baby hair. Now, sometimes I use tropical roots. It depends on if somebody wants fluffy baby hairs or if they want baby hairs that's gonna stick on there and not move for seven days straight, <laughs> all right? And most of my clients want the type of baby hairs that do not move because you know it's easier to maintain your lace. So I love, love, love using got to be glue on the baby hair. It does not flake, it stays for a long time and I haven't had no complaints yet.
Okay, girl. I see you, girl. I see you. <laughs> all right, so now I'm going to take a wet wipe and get rid of all that extra product on her face so she's nice and comfortable. Now I'm going to take my blow dryer and just dry those baby hairs so she doesn't have to go under the dryer. So now let's get into this paint wax, okay? I'm excited. So yes, I've seen a lot of these on Instagram, but honestly, I got mine off AliExpress because I wanted the entire line for cheap cheap. <laughs> so just search hair paint wax on AliExpress and they have a lot of colors. They have gold, they have purple, blue, red, green, pink, like they have all types of colors. So I knew that she was gonna want the purple, so I pulled that one out first and she wanted it because so, i know her I, I know her <laughs> i've actually done her hair in the past and i've worked with her for a short amount of time and girl i know you girl and this purple is looking amazing on you and mind you with this hair paint like this can be washed out hella easy like you don't have to do anything special it can be rinsed out with water shampoo and that's it it does not permanently stain the hair it's not a semi-permanent it's none of that it's literally wax All right, y'all, so we had to go in with the blue at the bottom, you know, a little, little dimension, a little variety here and there. So I'm gonna add two blue pieces on each side. And I had an idea with this wax, like I thought about doing the entire bottom of her hair a color and like making it like an ombre effect, but uh, she was in a rush, her ride was outside bugging her. So we couldn't really do all the color that I wanted to do, but it's okay because we still got the color in the front, you know, it's framing her face and it still looks really cute. So I'm just gonna save it, you know, for next time and ask someone if they wanna try it and show you guys like how it looks with even more color. all right this is the final result and i love it baby hair is looking good curls looking good color oh girl love it <laughs> so thank you once again Seely hair for sponsoring this video with this 13 by 6 curly lace front wig if you guys want this exact unit same one <laughs> i'm gonna put all the information in the description below if you're not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you go ahead and do that and turn on your notifications. See y'all later.